What do you want to be proud of today, Matt? What did you think? Yeah, I'm obviously disappointed with the result. But, uh, you know, you get a big picture, I think we made big inroads. And, uh, Taking nothing away from them when, when uh, you know, obviously they had to win and they came out blazing and played very well. That's why they're world champions. What was the difference in that? Was it just the start or? Yeah. Uh, look, I think the first 25 minutes, you know, they just got out of their end way too easy through penalties and then uh, we couldn't recover and they scored some very you know, easy tries, which. You know, I think uh, the, like the previous two games we defended really well. But then um, in this game they were just too good, you know. But again, you know, Greg Inglis, Cameron Smith, Cooper Conn, Cherry Evans coming at you. Pretty fair players. Penalties were five one early, mate, that made it pretty hard for you to think you're coming in under Mate, what happened was mate, they just got out of their end too easy. Though you look where all their penalties were, they were all coming off in their own end. So instead of like making them work hard to get off their own try line, they just got went over. And I haven't seen uh, probably just a legitimate penalties, but they just got out of their own end too easy, and then they had plenty of energy up there, and we were zapped. So, but I thought yeah, if you take the first 20 minutes out of it, and probably the last five, which is, I think we were in the contest most of the game, then. Eh? Easy said and done, wasn't it? Simone Rugby League making the ball one of the, when the players were off first field in Australia, but now Simone will have lost one play for Samoa, but they won't even think of it. Sorry, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Now that you've you know, you've put yourself in the map and realised it's surprised most people. Yeah, well, it's only the start for Samoa Rugby League. Um, it's the first time we've entered into a four nations, playing the three best countries in the world. Um, and that's only the start for us. Uh, it's a good stepping stone for Samoa. And it'll be nice to to see um, you know big name players wanting to play for Samoa in the future. Um, you know, it's we've got a lot of players um, to pick from, um, and it's only going to the pool of players only going to get bigger. So um, something to look forward to um, for, for us in, in the future of uh, rugby league in Samoa. Dave, can you reflect on your experience as captain over the, over the three tests and um, the experiences with this group of players? Oh, it's been it's been awesome. Words can't, can't really describe it. Um, just so proud of the players, um, 24 players, you know, the coaching staff, an enormous job, um, just everyone involved. It's just been a great experience. Um, you know, personally, I just enjoy the whole the whole campaign. Um, that's one thing I'm going to cherish uh, in my career. You know, haven't got long to go, so <laughs> I'm trying to trying to hold on to the dream for another year with the Knights and. And see how we go from there. That day, what, are you aware of what the response has been back in Samoa? Do you know how it's sort of been the form that the team has been received? It's been massive. Um, we went there for uh, for a week prior to prior to the first game. It's huge, um, and it's more people around the world are going to notice uh, the work that we've done over the last three weeks, and um, you know that's that's a huge huge bonus for us and something to be proud of. You know, playing, you know, for me, playing for Samoa and playing against the, the three three best countries is, is something that doesn't come around that often. But to be a part of it is um, is a great experience, and, and a, lot, a lot of players uh, um, are cherishing the, the moment and look forward to to more more tests and, and campaigns in the future. Dave, will rugby league ever be bigger than rugby union in Samoa? I mean, obviously, you can climb the ladder in rugby league more quickly, can't you? Then. Um, I think I think it can. Um, I think we're probably on par with rugby rugby union at the moment in Samoa, but um, it's, it's only going to grow and, and become become bigger. Dave, do you know when you're going to be playing again? Have you got that you got a game against May? Uh, yeah. I think so. I yeah, think I'm not sure. What's happening? Dave Craig English was pretty strong, particularly in the first half. You've been around a while, man. Where do you rate him? Uh, he's obviously in the top five. Best player in top three. Um, huge, huge, huge player, and, and he's a big game, big game, or big time player. Um, he just stands out. So, 
you know, um, you know, to him, you know, so but playing against him is a, is a, a lot to do, a lot of work to do. Matt, who wins next week, and does the refereeing appointment have an impact on the game next week? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ask me hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I reckon it'll be close. The yeah, Kiwis have obviously got an advantage because they played Saturday and they're already over there. The Aussies will have to travel, so it's going to be a very short turnaround. I think if the Aussies can recover quick enough, they can win. But the Kiwis have certainly got an advantage. Yeah, I, I, um, you know, I don't think the re- I, well, I hope the refereeing has nothing to do with it, but the refereeing had nothing to do with it today, so you know, we were just beaten by a far better team, unfortunately, on the day. But, you know, you look at today's game, you know, and the thing I'm proud about is that the guys that we've got in the team, the way they've responded, and, uh, you know, I think we've kept the Four Nations alive. You know, you saw so many Samoan people there today, the support we got. Unfortunately, you know, if we could have stayed within a try of them most of the game, I think it would have lifted our blokes and and perhaps made a bit more of a game of it. But, you know, unfortunately we couldn't do that. The Australians were too good. But again, it's been a great tournament. And we've been like we've had a great time. We've enjoyed it, and um, you know, guys have played really well. For, I think in our in, in our team, certainly, uh, you know, I'd go for a number. Of them. You know, I think, you know, Dave next to me, his keeper, him and Frank, they've played massive minutes in this tournament, which they haven't done for their clubs last year. You know, and they've certainly led the way on and off the field, and they've been a pleasure to work with. Uh, Matt, despite the uh, current uh, evidence for nations. Yeah, I think it's great because uh, you know I think that's all part of it. And again, we're ha- like I know from my point of view, I'm really happy to use Samoa as a stepping stone for these guys to kick off their representative careers in Australia, whether it be New South Wales origin or Queensland. And I think it's an important part. You know. They can use these games t- to show that they can compete at an international level. You know, obviously there's a, you know four guys in our squad that I think you know could probably play next year if they were given the opportunity. Um, you know, I think they're going to be better for playing in these games. And I think um, you know it's important they go into camp and they see how the older guys that have been there and done it, such as you know Frank and Dave. You know, they see how they prepare for games in, in, in a camp situation, and that's what they've got to do if they want to go to that next level. So I think the learning, you know, it's a massive part of the learning curve. But it is, it's very exciting. Again, you know, Tim Simona played out of position, and I thought he was great at fullback in the whole tournament. You know? Tough position fullback, especially when you've got them balls swirling around. Dave, the Knights started training last week. Do you get some time off before you have to go back to pre-season with them? Uh, yeah, I'll be talking to Rick Stone about that. Um, we'll be seeing him in the, in the new year, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dave, uh, it's been a uh, great honour uh, today's paper that Samoan played uh, much less than uh, Peter Kanzler. How do you do it, Samoan players? What does it mean to be wearing a balloon? Well, I think it means more than uh, more to us than money. Um, players pick you know, Kiwis and Aussies, obviously for financial reasons, but that's that's um, take nothing away from them. That's just the way it is, I suppose. And, uh, players like myself, they want to play just for playing for Samoa. It's, it's just um, just what I want to do. It doesn't matter about money. Yeah. Talk, 